Hello, this is Dare Tebbers, and this is your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight. Oh, we're gonna die so badly here. Uh, <laughs> what are we flying? Well, you already know from the video title. We're flying the F-111 Aardvark. Um, it actually did not have the name Aardvark while in service. That was added after the fact. Um, this is... Uh, Oh goodness, this is uh, quite the uh, aircraft. We actually are loaded out apparently with bombs, which means when we crash, we're really going to blow up all over the place. Uh, we are at RAF Woodvale for reasons of... I felt like going to England. <laughs> it's really the reason. Uh, so first things first, I think I have to figure out how to make my wings come out. Now here's the thing. the This mod comes with doc files. And I do mean doc files about how to fly this thing. Um, and apparently none of this is clickable, even though it all looks clickable. I mean, look at look at all of these gauges. Look at all of this stuff. Holy moly. Okay, so first things first. Let's, let's use our shift one. Okay, maybe we, one of these things might do what we need. Let's see. Jettison stores, fire detection. Uh, what's this? HUD power. What's this? Oh, this is our, our train following radar. Okay, so the thing about this mod, I do know, this is an Alpha Sim mod. The TFR works. You can do a TFR flight plan, so you can do a train following radar flight plan if you so desire. Shift 2 gives me more stuff. What's this? To toggle AP panel. I want my AP panel off. What's this? Landing gear down. No, I don't want to put that up. What's this? Bombay door is open. Hmm. Tail hook up. Ooh, can I put my tail hook down? Tail hook down. Why, yes I can. Look at my tail hook. My tail hook is now down. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, that's cool. Um, great. So that should be tail hook up. Yeah, I think so. Shift 4, or then no, that's Shift 3. Radar, Shift 4. Ooh, good. We have a comm stack. Excellent. Shift 5. Oh. Oh, goodness. Well, let's turn our nav lights. What is this? Floodlight. Oh. So I can see what I'm doing, I guess. Good. Landing lights. Let's turn those on. AP pitch. Oh, autopilot pitching. Roll. Good grief, look at all this stuff. Train follow, that's how I would turn on my train follow. GPS panel. I mean, this is an immense amount of data. <laughs> Shift, what is that? Shift six. Oh, here's here's our, our autopilot nav attack. Oh my goodness, shift 7, let's close that. Okay, shift 8. Oh, I get his panel. Wow. Uh, so this must be the t brain following. So shift 9 gives me a different view of his panel. Okay. All right. Um, so first problem is I, I don't know how to get my, my wings out. Um... This, this is going to be probably... A, oh, oh, I'm, I'm causing a problem here at RAF Woodvale. I apparently have a whole bunch of planes lined up behind me. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, all right, so you know what? Probably a really, really bad idea. But let's let's just give her the full throttle with the wings back like this. Not a good idea. There we go. Veering slightly. There we go. All right, we're back on. We're back on target. Oh crap! I'm thinking we need more wing. Up, up, up! Oh, we made it. Look at that the way that landing gear folds in there. There's our ECM pod right there. Oh, uh, we're getting. Uh, our, our wing data, oh good grief, that thing's loud. We're, 
getting uh, wing wing stuff coming off of uh, wings that are out and our wings are in. That's kind of strange. Okay, um, so I do need. To, I'm going to go. I'll probably go look at the uh, how to get our wings to fold in and out. I'm going to keep our TCAS off, or our TFR off, not our TCAS. So I'm going to keep those off for now because there's really no reason to follow the terrain. So some stuff about this aircraft. Um, this was originally developed to serve both the United States Air Force and the United States Navy as a medium range tactical strike and strategic bomber. First flight 21 December 1964. Retired by the United States Air Force 1998. Retired by the RAF 2010. 563 were built. Better go. <laughs> 563 were built at a flyaway cost of 10.3 million apiece. Isn't that crazy? So I, I do like how the... Uh, I mean, it's like our wings are all the way out. You can tell that the aircraft was originally designed. The original design they use comes off of a... Uh, a larger winged aircraft. That's kind of strange. Alright, let's do a little bit of... Let's go around here. Um, so it pioneered the var variable sweep wings. It was the first aircraft with the variable sweep wings. And also it pioneered afterburning turbofans. And of course the automated terrain following radar. Now this aircraft doesn't have an ejection seat in the, in the, the usual meaning of an ejection seat. Instead it has a crew escape module. So that area where the crew is up front actually ejects as, a, as an entire unit instead of two guys getting shot off individually. Pretty cool, huh? She is powered by two Pratt Whitney TF-30P-100 turbofans. They can produce 17,900 pounds of thrust without afterburners, jumps up to 25,100 apiece with afterburners, our max speed Mach 2.5. Do we really think I'm going to land this aircraft? I could barely freaking take this aircraft off. All right, let's 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 head down tactical strike style, right? We're going to make a tactical strike on this uh, airbase. Oh, good grief. Now, how many movies have you seen where this is like the way they, they come in, you know? Watch out! Uh oh And then they would do a, a pop and drop if you were doing a gravity bomb. Because you would obviously... Oh! Hey look, I can... T um... <laughs> uh-huh. There's gotta be a spot for... I like how I can look behind me like that. Oh wait, now I can't. What the... Okay, so there are a few problems with that. <laughs> what else is around Woodvale? What else can we reduce speed? I'm I'm working on it. Oh, what's what's our air brake? There's our air brake right there. So it pops out of the belly of the aircraft, right in front of our ECM jamming pod. Now, do we really think we're going to be able to land this plane? I don't think we're going to land this plane. So instead of landing this plane, I'm going to uh, drop off, I'm going to leave the aircraft, I'm going to go and find out how to get my wings to swing, hopefully, and then we'll be back uh, when I can play around with the wings. So, be right back. Alright, we're back. Um, so I've, I've moved us to a parking area and shut down the engines. There goes the... Uh, the flight group apparently they're they're heading out for some sort of training flight or some such nonsense. This is a, I actually do have a texture pack on here at RAF Woodvale. Um, it adds all those cars running around back there and these uh, aircraft. This apparently is my right wing view. I don't quite understand what it is, but there you go. So the reason I put us here is because I've got to figure this sucker out. <laughs> um, I went and pulled up the manual now. There is a manual. There are three, well, 
three base manuals. One is covers the TFR, the train following radar. One is many pages long and it covers all of these gauges. So you can't just hop in and get this, but look what I found. The wing sweep and flaps. I think I can sweep my wings out. Look at them. They're going. They're going. Might help if I had my engine started, of course. <laughs> that could be half my problem. I don't have my engine started, but let's go ahead and start them. Is it control? There it is. Control A. We'll start up our engines as well. So here come our engines online and we're sweeping our wings out. So we'll actually be able to use uh, our wings. You can get kind of a look at the variable geometry. Some of the problems with the F-111 um, was just getting those hard points. These, there, you see it moving fast enough that it has power from the engines. Just getting the hard points for these, like in this case, these are CBU, cluster bomb units. Just getting the hard points to rotate was a very difficult proposition. And we're talking in the 60s, so this is predating the uh, Tomcat. So now we've got some wing, and we have some flap as well, such as it is. And here, look at look at the the uh, the way this has to move here. Okay, so here's our flap coming out here. But look at this, the way this had to articulate to accommodate the presence of this wing. And then when it rotates back in, this has to lay down. This is a lot of moving parts to think about. So now we have, there we go, flaps going back in. So she's got flaps and leading edge slats in there, look at that. Now those can go down because our flaps are out of the way. So she's now a sleek look. And this is, this is really, I mean, well obviously with the wings folded, um, I have a model hanging from the ceiling of the F-111. So let's go back to the cockpit. So this is where you control your wings. So you can slide your wings in and out. Very difficult thing to, to see right there. Um, we've got control over here for various spoilers. Now I'm not even going to go into the TFR because the TFR is just a beast unto itself. To program this <laughs> is quite a number of steps. But looking at the, the documentation, this has been very well modeled. So I do like this. Now that we have our uh, wings properly out, let's zoom. As soon as I figure out how to, can't remember how to zoom in and out. Oh, look at me. All right, let's get in the cockpit. Let's uh, head for a runway. Where do you think those guys took off from? They went this way, right? Yeah, let's head that way. Yeah. Now this is a really, I mean, seeing this aircraft in person, you, you look at it and you're like, just, you know, wow. And can you imagine one of these coming for you? I mean, it's going to come in low and fast. And you're not even going to know, you're not going to know it until it's on top of you. With, with the inertial guidance system and the train following radar, um, the EF-111 Raven, that was its call, the EF, uh, was fully equipped for going after radar units. They often carried HARM missiles. It's uh, the designator for the U.S. Air Force's HARM missiles, which would go after radar implements. So you would pop up, display your aircraft so that you get a radar fix, and then fire the HARM missile, and it would go right down the uh, path. Uh, let's see, how's that runway look? That runway looks short. <laughs> how's that runway look? That runway also looks short. Um, you know what? Oh, apparently that's the runway I should use over there. Look at look at how it articulates. I mean, that's some serious attention to detail. Let me let me straighten this guy up here, because we're about to do something extremely silly. But all right. Now look at, right here, 
in the engine, when I start to throttle up, I mean, that's some serious attention to detail. Now, we're about to do something silly. Oh, crap. Close to cockpit. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> and that is some... Oh, wow. We're in trouble. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We made it. Not by a heck of a lot, mind you, but we made it. And now, look at how she's... Get out of that. Yeah, that's a little bit better right-wing look of the aircraft. Now we'll go in the cockpit here, and we're going to tell this wing, no, not that way. I want you to go the other way. What is going on here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, are you on an automatic? What is moving? I hear something moving around out here. <laughs> Other than us going straight for the deck. <laughs> Alright, she must be speed enabled wings. So as I accelerate, she'll bring her wings in. Does that sound right? Yep, she's bringing them in as she accelerates. Right on the edge of afterburner there. Ooh, she's a loud one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do about this. Now, come on, there are wings. I don't see any notes here. I mean, I took some notes, but not a lot of notes. And I am not a F-111 pilot, so... You know. Got to make do with what you got. Nope, that's a bad thing to do. Yeah, she's screaming. I can't get the engine to uh, release the afterburner there. There it goes. Alright, so the afterburner sticks. <laughs> nice. And I can't get the... Um, the wings to sweep back. Wait, there we go. There it is, right there. There. Swept in. And now we can go for broke. So, until next time, when we find another aircraft to uh, cause all kinds of problems with. What are you screaming about? I'll be quiet. Uh, until we find another aircraft to, uh, to break, spend air tubbers. Uh, bye. We're gonna die. Bye.